I just heard footsteps behind me. Yes! Yes! I covered it, lifted it up, it said something, and moved. <gasps> So right now we are going to do a little walkthrough of the whole place before we start our main investigation here at the old Pabaka County Jail. First I'm going to start up with placing a night vision camera uh, in this hallway and then as we go through I'm going to bring it up with like us so we can face upstairs in the walkthrough. No more playing out, sorry. <laughs> this room used to be the communication center, right? Where their visitors would come in and they'd talk to them? Yes, this was their communication. That's where that. Yeah, I'm gonna use the K2 only because when we were in here earlier with Lisa, this was going off. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yes. I feel so weird near this freaking hallway right here. During the whole time we're in this room, we get no communication through the spirit box whatsoever. But the only thing we do get is the EMF spiking. Oh, my face is... Oh. You want us to leave? Hit that spike to red if you want us to leave. Like you did earlier. Get it a red. One more time. I guess I left. I thought I just heard a scraping sound. Can you go in front of Chris? Let me. I'm right here. You got a frame anyways. You good, Christian? Ask away. Bro, I feel like something on my back, bro. Like something's like, like on not, you. not burning me, but literally just like this. Like just on me. Like. In this moment, Christian starts to feel something around him and cloud over him. While Beth is doing spirit box. The way he's already getting affected, it's something that we have to look out for in this investigation. I was literally watching it the entire time just to get something fast. It sounded like laughing, yeah. How do y'all feel about this sound? We're giving you permission to walk around after hours. Cells are open. Come on out. You hate the sheriff, right? <laughs> <laughs> Come get me! Grab that box that he's holding. Stop acting shy. Snatch it, you don't like him. Snatch it. What the, what, whoa, what the? Let us know how much you hate the sheriff. With our own ears, we all heard keys rattling or the chains on cuffs out in the hallway. Sadly, 
it did not capture on any of our cameras. He's like shaking. Was it near the the desk? It was near that, that bar. Sheriff, you know we're talking about you. Is there only one sheriff in this town? Is that an inmate walking around with chains? Are you out of your cell after hours? Weird. It's not a weird coincidence. Yeah. The walkthrough is good for right now. Like we should continue the walkthrough, but I don't think we should try to like really dig deep in anything until it's like later at night when there's no music. Because if we agree. really want to capture something, we're not gonna get it while there's stuff going on out there. I agree. Y'all ready? Let's do it. Are you gonna want to get a that night vision? Yes. Okay. Dude, I don't know, dude. I'm getting like mad affected right now. Like, like so bad. Like the worst I've ever gotten. Like, if you need a minute, let us know. Nah, um, I'm gonna keep pushing, bro. But like, fuck me, dude. Hold on, y'all. I got a tight end. Holy shit. Dude, stay there. What happened? It literally looked like someone was like walk like up two pat legs, like walking this way. Dude. Like someone walking this way, all I saw was the pants, like the feet. I got hella chills on my neck right now. No, dude, because I, I was going to say, like, it's cold <laughs> The energy up here is almost unbearable. That's why you see us walking elbow to elbow. I can't go in there. I, I can't do it. I don't even think it's like taking a... Huh? They're gonna go that way where I'm gonna follow you. Oh sh**. Did you see this? The ball and chain? Oh yeah. That's sick. I mean it's scary as f it's sick. And that is a real bone. It is a real bone. But it's probably like a big thing, like a horse or cow, probably. I'm scared to touch it. I would not. I would not. Do you like Beth? Do you like me? Y'all have a man in y'all cell. How do y'all feel about that? Yeah, ladies, how do you feel about a man being in your cell? Do y'all feel like he's an intruder? Or are y'all excited? I feel like I hear footsteps behind me. But it's probably just my paranoia. Dude, you know what I'm terrified of? What's that? Like, turning around and seeing one of these eyes. Because these are supposed to be strategically placed to see only one eye. Over here, I just, I feel a lot safer. <sighs> Someone rub on me? You okay? You can push? Should be okay? I'm alright, I just... I got pushed. You got pushed? I got pushed. 
Do you need a sit? Oh, Do you need to step out of here? Okay. Dude, no, that's hard. You slammed into that little car. He oh. got like crush. Three. You okay? Yeah, I'm alright. Me, dude. That was hard. You slammed into that wall hard. I cannot believe it happened to me. Dude, I got like the sh out of me right now. Like I literally felt like a like you know how when you fall like your stomach and you get the wind knocked out of you? Like I feel like that. I feel like they just fucking like fall like that. Y'all are in this one? Yeah, and that uh huh. Right at the, the wall. That back wall. Dude, look. Look at the old you call button. Yeah. I'm gonna try something. Why are you gonna pay for pipes? I'm gonna put that right there. Okay. I'm gonna lay down. Are you gonna want me to tell you? Tell me, tell me after. Is there anyone in this jail cell right now? Who pushed Christian? Do you not want to talk to us? Oh you good? Alright, I gotta stop. You okay? What happened? What do you feel? It felt like I was like an inmate for a second. Like, a quick second. Like, I was just looking up at the ceiling and I had a flash image of like it was me and I was here. This is it crazy. We were all like, we're supposed to save. We're supposed to what? Uh, not uh, they said, oh, you feel safe? They said, you feel safe? Watch it. Watch this. Shit. So, right now, I think we are going to call it for our little walkthrough for right now. Because it just turned to a whole different level. Christian, sorry, excuse the music playing outside. Uh, Christian just got pushed here in the cell that I was just in. And I didn't know the EMF detector was spiking and I was asking those questions about it. And with that evidence, it's pretty remarkable um, that they acknowledged that, yeah, that was. Yeah, dude, that's fucking insane. How do you feel right now? Man, if I'm being honest, like, you know what's I feel like I got pushed, but I don't feel like it was for like the fear of like put the fear of God in me. Like I just feel like it was I don't know why I just got pushed. Like, I, that's all that happened. I don't feel like it. Fuck, I'm just trying to just think about it, bro. Cause that felt like how you did it, like with two like perfectly hands, just boom, just on my chest, and I was like. What if it was like a what is the word? Like in an intimidation thing from an inmate be like what's up like who are you like what's up what's your place mm -hmm. like i'm you know big dog at the cell like this right. is my cell right. i just find it weird no, i get the I feel safe this is my I feel safe here this is my cell i don't know dude. i don't know it was weird it, it felt weird and no you but you know what's weird i you no know, i saw like a light like or or light yeah like my own eyes it was just like a war that like through the cell right here are you going downstairs? Like, dude, <laughs> I'm not kidding you. Like, I, I know what I just saw right now, and I think that's the very first time I've ever seen a orb with my own eyes. I had chills. Yeah, let's chills. let's call it right now and let's head downstairs. I'm gonna put a new battery in. Please give, please give me some light. Bell, my camera died. Come on, let's let's. 
Oh to the my safe space. Chris, did you record that? I am recording, yes. I oh. did I think I got where your camera cut off. Oh, I did not like I didn't like I did not like nope. that right now. No. Can you shut the door? No. Oh shit, that sounded like ringing. Like keys. No. We're gonna dude. shut the door, no, okay? No, 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 no. There was there was Some... I, I keep seeing way too much shit right now, dude. In there? I, I don't even feel good walking to Over there? Like, I saw something in there as we were walking past it. Looked, no, hold on. Deposit. It literally did this. It literally did this. I saw. No! I saw that. I need to put my thing on my head. So right now, we are headed to the outer cells uh, for the first part of our main investigation here. Um, we're gonna play some cards to maybe see if we can elicit any activity in there. So, here we go. Oh, you didn't bring your coffee. As we're setting up to do our session, we start to feel really, really uncomfortable in here. We're in here for at least 15 minutes just contemplating on what to do. We were honestly more concerned for our safety, only because the door that leads into these is unlocked, so people can just walk in at any time. So what we're doing? Uh, right now, we're walking up to the uh, upstairs cells right now. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just do like a quick scope out, and we're gonna do some sessions. Uh, and then we'll see where we go from there. Probably I'm done here. If there's anyone up here with us right now, can you come talk to us? Who pushed me? Did you feel that? Yeah. Yeah. What happened? It's like right on the wall. Who pushed me? Who's near the men's quarters right now? Down here. Oh, she just said right now, right? What? It has been happening for like two minutes now. It just feels like it's getting it out. My mind is being blown right now. What happened? The last time I was here, that was like my first ever, my first like ever paranormal experience, like truly like a, where I got like really, really messed up. Like I felt um, we were in that cell over there in the men's quarters. Is this your cell we're standing in? Are you making us feel really weak right now? Things coming towards us, bro. I literally see that figure, bro. 
and I got, I got f***ing, I got f***ing shame, but I got literally like, just, it felt like that in and out, in and out, and I literally like dropped, I was like, oh, f*** me, dude. Same side? The same f***ing side, man, that's the thing. I literally was like, when you said you're all like, right here, I was like, oh, f*** that, bro. F*** that sh dude, that's crazy. Who's the man that committed suicide? After that anomaly comes out near Christian, this is when he starts to get severely affected. But not only him, later Beth will be affected as well. Then Christian's leg randomly starts shaking. Oh, did you f hear that? Mm -hmm. That was the bank. I truly believe that something was going to happen right there. I think Christian covered his mouth in disbelief because he realized what he was doing. Alright guys, so right now, we took a little, I wouldn't say little, we took a long break to really decompress ourselves because of what was affecting Beth upstairs in the cell and what was also affecting Christian at the same time. He is still feeling pretty affected right now at the moment, but what we're gonna do right now, Chris and I are gonna go explore this lower section closer to the cells uh, where the sheriff's office is and the bedroom. Christian and Beth will be in here to see if they can come into contact with anything that's in here. You ready? I'm ready. Alrighty, y'all. Right, oh, I need to get the spirit box and the headphones. We're gonna be shutting this door. Let's work on this first. Dude, it feels so much colder in here. It is just Chris and I. You want to do something? Now's your chance. Is there anybody by these stairs right now? Chris and I both heard walking upstairs, but didn't capture it on any of our audio. Why do you affect people like that? You get joy out of it? I don't know, I couldn't tell. It sounds it sounds like me. What happened in the cells upstairs? Beth and Christian don't get any spirit box communication whatsoever. So they start doing tarot sessions to see if they can communicate to something through tarot. The tarot! Watch out. If anybody's with us right now, I want you to come through this reading. I want you to try and sit down. And I want you to talk to me. I want you to talk to me through through these cards, 
I want you to come through this reading and you have three times, three chances to show yourself. Who are you? Watch how this anomaly goes up the stairs behind me. It's pretty strange how randomly it shows up behind me and goes all the way up the stairs. And you can even see it brighten up each stair. You are really here. Give me a sign. Do you have anything to say? You can speak up. Did you turn that one off? No. no. It, it that that turns off by itself. I got. It. I wonder how many times I'm gonna have to. I got chills. So we are on the platform on the stairs right now, and I was conducting a spirit box session, and we weren't really getting anything. And then I was like, "All right, dude, give us something big, like right now." And then, like a couple of seconds later, the spirit box died in my hand. Each of these readings all tell a story. Christian believes they all connect to the jail. The first one is about the oppression the jail put the prisoners in. The ambition and will of the prisoners were stronger though, and that will has stood the rest of time. Now with new opportunities, it's always available to them in the afterlife. They roam doing whatever they please. I want you to clarify what you mean by beginning. I want you to give me this answer and I want you to really make sense of it. Yes, that was me. Sorry. The star, which is self esteem or inspiration. I feel like it's not coming out strong enough. I feel like I gotta do this again. If I'm being honest, by the third cup, it makes sense for for it to be new. The car, I'm sorry, for it to be um, new beginnings. This could be like the beginning of something for me. New. This could be like the beginning of something affecting our lives. Like who knows? This. This whole experience, this whole experience. Whatever like, happens today could be like... In the future. I want you to make sense of that. I want you to tell me what you're trying to tell me. If you were really walking these stairs earlier, come down them and make me leave them. Scare me. Watch as these two anomalies come towards Chris. And what's weird about them is after they pass, you can hear two gusts of wind. And I blinked again and it wasn't there. There was a little girl right up top of the stairs.
Are you a little girl? Really? Chris and I both heard a loud growl from the other side of the bed. Is it was it? so loud, I don't know how it did not capture on any of our audio. It sounded almost like a growl. Yeah. Like a... Rah. Like right here. Yeah. No? Yes. Can you mess with these closet doors? I don't believe you can close them. If you're one of the girls that we heard on the hall, and the one that's been playing on the stairs, and this is your room with your mom and dad. Is this where you used to hide in the closet from them? Heard something out of the hall. Did you hear Pit Pat? Yeah. Didn't your dad tell you no running in the halls? The second story tells another perspective from an individual that is still hurting, even in the afterlife. It talks about how authority truly reigned over the jail, and especially over its female inmates, leaving all so shattered and powerless in time. This is like... The Empress represents a lot of like strong female energy like Mother Nature or things like that. Um, and the devil says to break your chains. Is to like... What was the first one again? The King of Swords, which is like... just. Like... It's, it's just... You know? Like, it's, it's fair. Fuck. Four of coins. Possessiveness. Wait. <laughs> Just and fair. Like the cops were. The Empress. Wait, it was an old justice system. The, re the Empress was the females that we were just interacting with. The devil represents them breaking their chains, and the four of coins meaning what it means possession. Mm. It'd be like, I don't know. The only thing like possession like that to go with it, like this is like our, I don't know, like this is our place, like. Can you give another draw? Oh. Three of Swords. Pain. Or Heartbreak. Um. This could mean a lot of. This could mean a lot of things. Um. I don't know. That pull makes me feel some type of way. This whole line makes me feel some type of way. This whole reading is like. What's the chances of us reading, getting too, like, mm -hmm. archetype cards, like the Empress and the Devil? So that means this reading is strong. 
I don't feel good. I don't know that. I don't know that. Fuck. I'm so emotional. That makes me feel emotional. That one just. Oh. Do you want to draw? Do you want to do any reading and see how it connects to you? Like I pull them. You tell me what they mean. You want me to? Yeah. It, was, it just came up ne next to me, like right up on my neck. Oh, dude, no. <laughs> bed. Who's on the bed with Chris? Voices. What kind of voices? Nine. Is that how many of you are here? Please, with two female voices. Did just die? Yes. All right. Walk. Are you walking or do you run? Walk? Big. What's Me. what's big? Who was walking along the stairs today? Hide them. Play. Boy. Hide who? Or do you want us to hide? Is there? Are you there? And then the... I heard Deanna. What about Deanna? How do you know her? Looks like... him. No kid is <laughs> talking. Yes, I need you to talk. Go. We're not going anywhere. Who was making Christian and Beth? Kid. Kid. Run. Who's the kid that's telling us to run? Evil. Whoa, that was a weird orb. And that's right as he said, evil. Who's the kid? Is she real or is she inhuman? Run. We're not running out of here. <laughs> Say, I don't draw archetypes in this person. Is that 
the final reading could possibly be directed to us. With the full establishing the freedom the spirits have, letting us know no one can do anything. The Three of Cups representing the sisterhood they've developed all these years, and the Four of Coins pointing to how us stepping into their space crossed a boundary, a boundary felt by all of us that scarred us forever. Or some sort of celebration or party, happiness. Oh. That's not scary. Wait. What happened? You'll find out. Sounds like two spirits are talking to each other through him. Who are the evil entities here? Guy. Right as that anomaly appeared, Chris starts feeling really overwhelmed. You're no fun. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. I felt like I couldn't breathe for a second though, so I'm fine. I remember like this, like my, my hand or something. Mm -hmm. I, was, I like got out of it, but I don't know, there's a whole bunch of nothing for like a little while. And then it like overwhelmed, like they all like came, like there's- You want me to go? What I noticed there's five voices. So there's two women, uh, one guy who barely talks, but his voice is deep. Uh, then there's two other guys who sound like they're actually officers and they're middle age, I'd say. And then there's a younger kid who's probably roughly our age, your age, or Beth's 20. Okay. And don't ask the questions too loudly. Yeah, no, I could not hear you at all. Are you planning to follow us home? Danger. Who's the danger? What's his name? Or her name? Me? Fucking bitch. What's your name? Come back here. No. It's playtime. Me. Where are y'all from? Come and play. Kinky. Do you want Alex to move the one on the bed? If you do, tell him yes. No. Do you want me to move the one with the camera? The big old light? Fuck. Shot. Lucky? I lucky to you. Lady? Lady. Are you talking about the lady in the main room? With the one with the cards? Stop. What do you want us to stop doing? Do you want us to stop communicating? He looks. You just locked out the doorway right now. Don't. I'm not looking at the doorway. Right Don't now. do it. The same male voice keeps coming through. Does he sound stern? Like, you can't hear me. Oh God, he's looking towards the hallway like I said. I'm he's there. Keep your clothes on.
video. We are recording the video. Do you want to be caught on camera? Or do you want to remain a secret? Her. Help. Where are you? Can we help you? I have a bad feeling towards my back and near this closet. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, there was like a loud guttural voice and I couldn't make out what it was. And after I said whoa and started taking it off, I heard it again, but like louder as I took it off. And I, I don't know. Christian. Christian goes, is any of y'all there? And he, and you said, he said, he's there, or he's here. Shut the f*** yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, I've been looking out in this hall. And you said, don't look. And then I go, I have a bad feeling towards my back and near this closet. And then that's when you heard the growl. I kind of, do you want to close some of the rooms? Or do you want me to sit down right here again? Actually, to... yeah. Uh, sit in the sheriff's chair. Okay. If you want to do that. Jason. Run. Do your volume. It's good volume. I just want to do last. Oh, 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 oh. I heard there's portals. Like, you know, grunge, grunge. I heard it too. That old. Alright, Jason again. What's weirder than him saying Jason is that when he opened that old dictionary from the early 1900s, the bookmark was in the J section. Intervals. What does this room have to deal with? Connection. Oh, wow. Well. Connection with who? You used to kill him. Three people. Who killed who? Good. I want. What do you want? Torture. You want to torture us? Saints. Are you a saint? Wrapped around the tree. Were you hung on the tree? Wondering who he is. Does. Whoa. Fight him. Save me. gonna make Christian fight Chris. You're down. End of the day. Kid is slow. And N word. N word? Jared. I heard he's in and then a go go closet. I'm so I'm so scared to look. No, behind. you're good. You're good. I'm looking behind you already. Your loved ones. Who's in the closet? He is. Service. What the fuck? Beheaded by our, our son. Whoa. They're behind you. Who's here with us right now? Mine. Forever. Probably. Who's yours? Nobody here is yours. Yes, he is. <laughs> I'm starting to freak out a little bit. December burns.
I heard that, the growl. I heard it. It was like, Mm hmm. Yeah. How would you feel about walking through? Like through a mall? While doing this. Okay, I'm down. Okay. Okay, let me get the phone first. Tag him. In a deep man's voice, I am behind you. And this is where I heard the footsteps too earlier. Are we going through here? The hive. Run through. Yo, I got like a lot of electric like pulses. Like it's just like, do you hear this? Do you hear that? Whoa, yeah. Just, j -j 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 -j. I don't like this one. No, that's definitely interference. Die. Call me fat. As Chris said, he heard like a little girl screaming. You can see an anomaly come from that direction. Five. What are there five of? You. <gasps> there was five of us earlier. No, I keep hearing him. I keep hearing him. He goes behind you. Like in the quick. same male voice? Yes, in the same male voice. But it sounded like he was like happy about it. I don't know how to explain. Like he had a big ass grin. He was just like up to my ear, just like behind, behind you. you. Yes. What about? I'll pierce you. I'll pierce you. Yeah. Oh. What was Beth feeling, yeah. and what did Christian feel last time we were here? <laughs> I feel like we shouldn't tell him, especially about the part where he said he is there. Like when I asked, when Christian asked. Him. Forever friends. Hell the team. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> what? You said let's go as we get like right here, as if something was yeah. telling you like, come on, let's go. It was a, it was it was a different. Remember how I said there's five guys. Uh huh. Well, it was one of them, but it was the one around our age. Okay. It was like let's go. I'll go up the stairs. With it on? Yes. Okay. Kill. Who do you want to kill? Kids. You want to kill us? Still found. Music. Blood. Have Watch Have this camera. anomaly leave Chris's chest and go behind the radio. Literally, was about to take this step and here, like everything stopped. Like this, sorry. What happened, dude? I lost my breath. Okay, like I was like literally about to take that step. Yeah. And as I'm literally about to move, everything like it went quiet, and you just hear who? Like, like that's all I heard. <laughs> Let's get the shit out of me. I don't know what it means. You or who? Who? Just straight in my ear, like. Dude, I feel like someone was peeking around this corner. Right here. Like up here. Like his head was right here. Who's making all that noise? Did you hear that? That was outside. That was a girl crying outside. That was outside. 
It sounded like a grown woman, like crying. There's no one to see. So, for everybody watching this right now, we are in the same. Chris and I both heard someone walk up to the cell. We are in the same jail cell that Christian got attacked in our first investigation here. I'm gonna try to conduct an Estes method here in this cell to see if I can get any relevancy to what he felt. Where are y'all? Are y'all with us right now? Rape? How many of y'all are in here? Die? Maybe. Who killed you? Beth. How did she kill you? Who made Christian angry at me and other crew? front of you. This cutie patootie's in front of me. Do you want to do something to him? What do you think about us being here? It was just a growl. Does that mean you like us? did you have? As soon as this anomaly appears, I say this. Someone's here. That's not what I asked you. How many roommates did you have? Hell. They want. You did this to yourself. What crimes did you commit? You. Why do you want me or Alex? You haven't proved to us that you're real. You just bothered the other cast members somehow. In front. You're not in front of me. Douchebag. Stop flirting with me. You. Yes, I know. Oh, you're such a sweetheart. Hey. That oh, whoa. No. That was like really like how <laughs> like how you described how I was provoking them. You were? Dude, it it felt like that same presence how you felt it went like behind you. Yeah. It felt like someone went, hey. And did it again right as I was taking it off. Well, I wasn't provoking it. I wouldn't say that much. I was more like ignoring them. Like you were saying stuff, I was like, stop flirting. I know you're such a sweetheart. Not All righty, you got two cutie pies coming in. Don't, don't affect us like you affected Christian. Do you want to do it in here? I keep seeing something right here. Right as he here. said that, and I turn, my phone light turns off, recording. but somehow my phone is still recording. Who's up here with us? Run. Stay. Who's telling us to run, and who's telling us to stay? I got screwed at. Lord, you stay. You stay. Who is your Lord?
Good morning. morning. It is the morning after our investigation. Right now we're doing a final walkthrough to see if we forgot any of our equipment. This was a scary yet amazing investigation. Even just doing the interview with Lisa, we were hearing all sorts of like walking and stuff. Just being up here and we'd all hear it by the stairs. Even before coming up here, we would hear like clear walking. What happened to Chris and Beth in those cells over there? I can't really explain that, but something something was definitely trying to channel through Christian to get to you. And then something was just making Beth really upset and like wouldn't let her leave the cell. We will be actually returning and we will be returning for a two night investigation. Until then, be sure to follow us on um, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And just stay tuned because we will be posting a lot more content here now. Stay tuned for that.